Rio Gang Gang Gang. Hope all is well with you guys. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping? What's good? To my MOC, I love, love, love you guys to the moon and back. You know that. To my silent partners, my day ones, I so much love you guys from the bottom of my heart because you love me the same way. I really appreciate you guys so, so much. It goes without saying. To all of those who donate to my channel, who show love and support, my deepest, deepest gratitude and unwavering love for you guys. I love, 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 love you guys. I don't just say that. I mean that. This is always a Scorpio affair. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart, grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your H2O, your coffee, your OJ. Your whiskey, whatever it takes, Scorpio, I don't judge. To tap into these energies like we always do around about this time. If you should happen to see an ad, let it play for at least a minute. So your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you like a personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below. Alright, Scorpio, let's tap in and see what's going on. Hope all is well with you guys. Love's growth, love that grows with time, needs time to grow. Unexpected lesson in love is the first energy you're pulling out, Scorpio. Hmm. So I feel like you're you're in a connection with somebody you're getting very impatient with. You feel as though y'all should have been, you know, in a next level of commitment by now. Um but I'm just hearing this person just needs more time to grow. This person needs more time, not to be sure of you, Scorpio, but just be to be sure of what direction they want to take their life in. Um, I feel like you mature quicker than this person. You've had more life experiences than this person. I feel like maybe you've been married before. This person has not. Um, your heart has probably been broken a million times. This person has not. I mean, it just feels like that type of energy to me. This person is very... Um, this person is very intelligent. They're very articulate too. They're able to, you know, relay to you, Scorpio, that it's not about you. It's not, are you a wonderful, would you be a wonderful wife? Yes. Would you be a wonderful husband? Yes. Are we connected? Yes. But is this what I want for my life? Is marriage what I want for my life now that I met you? The next energy is twin flame. It says polar opposites, yin and yang, intense soul connection. So this is why this is taking so long. One, one person is feeling as though they're ready to move to the next, next level of commitment. And then you have this twin who's just, you know, they know what you guys have is intense. They love everything about you, but it's just like, it's that commitment part. It's that healing part. It's, you know, this person telling you, I need to make sure that I'm healed. I need to do some type of soul search and I need to go within to see if this is what I really want for me, which is awesome. <laughs> if it's not, you know, if there's no discrepancies going on with y'all connection, this is good. Let's see. You never know how it's going to turn out. It says waiting, holding on to hope, not taking action. You know, see. Um, I, yeah, Scorpio, I feel like to you it's, it's beginning to be more manipulative. You, you're feeling like maybe this person is seeing other people. Um, you just feel like it shouldn't take this long for them to decide what they want to do. And this person is just, they have, they're not taking any action and they just got you somewhere waiting and you like fed up with it. This not going to be your hot girl summer, not sitting up waiting for somebody that you don't know if they, whether or not they genuinely coming in or not. It's like, mm -mm, yeah. See, new love. I feel like you move forward. You're tired of waiting with this person. This person, every every week, a month, or whatever this is, they got a different reason why they, why they can't commit. Or something they need to work on. It says there's someone better in new love interest letting go of the exes. Exes, more than one, Scorpio. Yeah, and there you go, single. It says, available, currently no other partner, open to dating. Yeah, somebody, you, you know, you release yourself. I told you, we're tired of playing games, Crosswatcher. 
I mean, if you if you in something with a Scorpio, even if you're with a Scorpio, and the shit feels like it's stagnant, ain't going nowhere, you need to you need to talk to Scorpio cross watcher because I'm telling you, you're gonna be waiting. If you don't initiate whoever this is, whatever side you on, Scorpio, you're gonna be waiting. On the bottom of your deck, your overall energy is wedding. It says seeing the future with you, taking it to the next level, they choose you. So I don't know if this is. I think this is this new love. I feel like, to this person, they come along and want to choose you too late. It's not like you're going to disrupt your happy home to be with your twin flame when you just marry somebody that's been treating you like, like uh, you're deserving of being treated. Uh, hello? Somebody who's not holding on. Somebody who can actually see a future with me that has, that's had less time spent with me. That's how Scorpio is adding this shit up, Crosswatcher. Just in case you want to know, this person is ready to take this to the next level. And this other person, they running and playing games. They want to keep, you know, going round and round in circles. And it's like, no, nah, I ain't the young bitch to sit around and count the days and wait on you to get your shit together while mine study breaking down and deteriorating, you know? You could be, that's the loss of life. You could be doing a lot of shit with your life besides sitting somewhere waiting on something that's not going to ever come. Or not engaging in something that's new, fresh, and right, and it feel right just because you're waiting on the bullshit that ain't going to never happen. Okay, move forward, Scorpio. Why is the love's growth here for Scorpio? Yeah, this is somebody who just wants you to keep going along with their little deceptions. Them holding on to you, keeping you at bay. Keeping the shackles on so you don't move forward. They, the worst thing that they want you to, the worst title they ever want you to have is single Scorpio available. Like, no, <laughs> that's driving this person crazy. That's why this person now, they could be actually coming saying, okay, Scorpio, I get it. I'm ready, but they're not ready. They just know you finna get married to somebody else. Now they're showing up. Like, what the fuck you doing? You finna marry somebody? Yeah. Yeah. So on love is love's growth. You're pulling the Knight of Wands. It's coming out in the reverse. Yeah, cause I feel like I feel like you wasn't looking for this new love. You just left. You just got tired of what this person was not. You know, this person couldn't see a future with you, but they telling you they love you. It's them. They got to work on them. But it's like how many years now? How many things you got to work on? Maybe I don't want to marry your ass no more. It's that type of energy for me. With the Knight of Wands in reverse, how about that? How about I don't want to marry your ass no more? I don't care what you're saying. I gave you enough time. Time's up. The buzzer been hit. Like, going about your fucking business. Yeah, you broke my fucking heart. I gave you too much of me for me to be leaving with nothing. Who am I talking to? And we just keep doing this over and over again. We keep dealing with broken people that don't want to fucking heal. And we keep going the distance with their ass. And what's the distance? The distance is them dropping your ass off where you were, where you was waiting at. And they going head on with somebody new. Yeah, they single, but you 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 at home waiting on them. No, nah, you done flipped that shit. Now nah, they whatever the fuck. And you knew you got new love single and you getting married. Why is Twin Flame here with the flex card? Because ain't nobody got time. You already my polar opposite, meaning, a.k.a. I already don't fuck with you, really, because you do too much and not enough. Yeah, the Queen of Wands in reverse. what I say? You dealing with too many people, especially this evil bitch. The Queen of Wands in reverse. This either somebody mama who fucking won't let their son go, or this somebody, some karmic that this twin flame fucking around with while they fucking with you, and this person trying to do witchcraft on you, this person trying to do evil shit to you, and it's like, no. You're very weak. The Queen of Wands in reverse, you're very weak. You're very timid, very passive, aggressive. But bitch, you're not funny at all. So let's be clear. You want to voodoo somebody, you voodoo him, not, not Scorpio. This person is everything you're not, Scorpio. Period. The world card. This person ain't sexy. They're not appealing. This person just got a, 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 a bank account. The world card is here like, it's over with. You're moving on to infinite possibilities. This person could be sending you a lot of text messages, a lot of cryptic messages, emails, 
um, trying to keep this shit going and you like, nah, it's over with. Don't ever reach out to me again. The three of wands is coming out in the reverse. It's over with. It's done. You be with who you going to be with and I'm going to be with who I'm going to be with. It's over. Don't reach out to me. The three of wands is in the reverse. You don't see a future with me. I didn't make your dream come true. I'm not what you're looking for in a spouse. So why hold me up? Don't hold me up for two years, one year, one fucking day. I want to make my dreams come true. How about that? It's time to be selfish for yourself. The three of wands upright talks about you patiently waiting again too, but it's in the reverse. You're done waiting. You're moving forward with a foresight and a fortitude of exploring anything in your life that you want to, but you won't be sitting somewhere waiting on somebody. You'll be exploring now, you, you want me to, well, hey, I'm not going to sit and wait. I'm going to be doing my thing. If you happen to come back and find me in a place where I'm single, then maybe. But no, he's not going to come back. They're not going to come back and find you single. Why? Because you a catch. You a fucking, you the bomb.com, period. No matter what they talking about. You just remove your energy if you think you ain't the bomb.com like you doing right now. You just let it get be known that you found somebody new and you get married. You gonna get all kind of encrypted messages. Why is waiting here in the middle of your ring? This person been having you waiting the whole entire time you been with their ass. Waiting on them to get a good job. Waiting on them to change their mind. Waiting on them to work on themselves. On themselves. It's just like, come on. The, the whole while, this person's stripping from you what you could have. But on the waiting, you releasing it. The four pinnacles in reverse. You're no longer hoarding that shit. You're no longer believing in this narrative they're trying to tell you. You ghosting this person, the hermit, because now you need to go within and replenish yourself. You need to do some soul searching, some introspection. You need to be away from this person because you need to consult your higher self again. You need to, you need to really get yourself somewhere and decide what you really want to do with your life. The nine of wands. Here you are wounded again, set back again. The Nine of Wands talks about pushing forward, though, whether I'm wounded or not, whether I'm energy drained or not. You keep putting one foot in front of the other, and that's why you always get to some new shit. That's why, because you all, you, you, you're done with it, Scorpio. The Four of Pentacles in reverse, you're letting go of it all. Why is new love here? And you don't care who, what, where, when. Think about it. It's your life. You claiming your life back. The page of swords, what I say, you you you're starting to explore different shit. Your 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 mental clarity, what you're looking for with the nine of wands, that's what you find, this is what this person finding in you. They're finding the attributes in you that you want in a partner. The four of cups is in reverse. This person, you don't have a bored day with this person, and vice versa. This person is not indifferent. This person does not try to go against the grain, so to speak. That's that's the energy with Scorpio. And whoever they dealing with, they want to go against the grain with Scorpio. It almost feels like an attack. They got they want to know more than Scorpio. Scorpio can't know more than them. Scorpio can't do more than them. They got to outdo Scorpio. This is a, a connection where you're not regretful. It's not stagnant. It's happy. It's moving forward. It's upbeat. The justice card, surely y'all get married. Why not? This person see a future with you. This person, this person is, is just boiling over with love for you. This person, look at this, look at this person. This is how this person was sitting single. Looking all disgusted till they saw you. This person, this person saying, man, I know what single is. I know what it is. Single ain't it. <laughs> Wedding, that's it. Finding your better half. Going through life, you know, going through this life with somebody help that's genuine. Not letting these fucking devils in. You pull the judgment on being single. Yeah, this person, they having an awakening. They don't want to be single anymore. Not now. Not since they met you. Like, what happened to this twin flame shit? To, to, to this single man, you like problem solved with the judgment. They ready to change their name. Change of status. They ready to change their damn last name. The man. They ready. Problem solved. I see Scorpio. I deal with Scorpio. I've been chilling and rocking with Scorpio. 
I've even had some type of transformation. Like, I'm done. I see you with me in the future. Let's go. Taking it to the... You're like, yeah. The devil in reverse. This somebody who don't want to be single. This somebody who facing... This somebody who done faced... You know, the, the dating scene. This somebody who done been through multiple people trying to figure the shit out. Just like you, Scorpio. But this person broke free from that. This person don't want to be in the rat race no more. They want to build something with you with the three of pentacles. This person is very committal. This person want the, the, the family dynamic. The, the, this person is domesticated. That's why being single to them don't feel right. Why is the three of swords here for Scorpio? The five of wands. That's what I'm saying. Most times with Scorpio... You get involved with these connections where people, they, they want to compete with you inside the connection. Not only don't they want you to be your own independent self inside the connection because that's that's uh, intimidating to them. So they try to control you by, you know, manipulating you, throwing obstacles your way, making opposition when it ain't none, making you feel bad about your life when really the only bad part of your life is them. They ask continuously reminding you of how fucked up you think they think you are you know what i'm saying it's just like it's no i'm done with the fighting to be a, like love ain't fighting love is growth love is compassion love is listening love is wanting the same thing the other person want that's love why is the three of wands in reverse i feel like whoever this twin flame is it's just not somebody that you can expand with because they're still they're still unwilling to love you right. The cup, the knight of cups in reverse. They too busy pouring cups elsewhere. And then they want to double back when they feel like somebody doing the same thing to you. When they feel like somebody loving you or out loving you like uh, out loving them, then you know they 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 get this energy of let me check in with Scorpio. Let me check the trap. Let me check and see what's going on. No. These boundaries are being set. The nine of wands, it's like, I'm done with you. You won't be in my energy to find out. Now, you know you're going to get the stalkers. We already got the page of swords. They're going to always be somewhere trying to see what's going on with you, Scorpio. Because you're the one that got away from their ass. You're the one that they didn't conquer. Because I don't care how much they did in the connection. Once you leave, and once you leave because of this, the emperor, when the, imp when the real emperor showed up, Oh, they got a real problem then. Now they dealing with their issues. Now you see them. Now you see that they have a low self esteem. When you when you take the Knight of Cups in reverse and you sit him right beside the Emperor, there's a problem. There's a definite miscalculation on Scorpio's part. But you see it straight on Scorpio. You 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 see it straight on. That's why this new love. This you see this this father figure, this businessman, this person that's responsible who walks in authority somebody ambitious and wise why would you turn that up somebody who protective and dependable stable for this hopeless romantic in reverse this bitch ain't romantic at all he ain't gonna make you no romantic uh proposal he just gonna sleep with you every time you want him to you can get a wet ass in a well scorpio you can get that when you can't get nothing to eat and that's something you realize that the knight of cups in reverse are the only type of motherfuckers who like that type of connection. The emperors, they want they want a boss. They want a boss like themselves. They want somebody who's mirroring, mirroring their attributes. Entrepreneurship. Somebody who's responsible. Somebody who's wise and ambitious. They want this energy to come together so they can elevate. Who am I talking to? Why is the justice here for Scorpio? This, it's not, this person, it don't take them but a minute to know they ready. What I say? The lover's card. On justice. They, 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 they see a future with you straight up. Love at first sight. When this person here, when this person say love at first sight, they're not just talking about they're not just talking about love itself. They're talking about having a connection with somebody that they know is gonna last. It's gonna stand the test of time. Yeah, we might go through things, but it won't be infidelities. It won't make it won't be me making my partner feel less. Than what they are. Whether it's true or not. I'm going to build them up. Not tear them down. Who am I talking to? The Empress on the bottom of the deck. With the Emperor. I can't make this up Scorpio. You're only fitted for who you fitted for. You're only slotted for who you slotted for. You're only going to be with who God allows you to be with. 
The only thing in these readings you need to do is get the confirmation that this ain't it. This twin flame journey shit, we, you know, I ain't rocking with that shit. And I don't feel like you would, not saying this ain't your twin flame, not saying that y'all might be together in another life, but I'm just saying like you're not finna turn, turn down the real thing for something fake. I mean, that's just that on that. Are you an emperor or not? Oh, you're an emperor in training where well, you ain't even you ain't even got the right train. I can tell you that. Your shit don't work. Your shit, your shit make a real divine feminine and a divine masculine move on to where they need to be at. You're just showing this person that you're not it. Knight of Cups in reverse. Let's be clear. What are the additional messages here for Scorpio? Somebody who just wants you to be the background and they foreground. Child, please don't even want you to sleep or mingle with nobody else. They want you on the couch at night, on Friday and Saturday night, looking miserable, eating popcorn, waiting on them to come see you because they done lied and told you they coming and they go said they can't make it this time. They can't make it the next time. Then the bitch show up when you got plans. It's like you be so glad to see his ass. You cancel your plan. Like, no, nah, I ain't rocking like that. I'm rocking with the night of cups. This emperor, this lover's card. See how we see see what it, see what kind of shit this person do. This new love. It ain't about a five star restaurant. It's the fact that they got you somewhere on the top of a roof, getting ready to see the sunset with a nice um with a nice picnic, cheese, wine, grapes, flowers, serenading you with they fucking guitar. It ain't even the fact that whether they sound good or not. It's the fact that they took the time out to love on you, Scorpio. Every choice they make, you included. This is a kindred spirit, a partnership, a strong bond, an unbreakable bond. What else? What's important to you is important to this person naturally. This ain't you don't have this person, you and this, you don't have to adapt to this person's lifestyle. They don't have to adapt. It's the same. Y'all want the same things out of life. The overall energy is solitude. Absolutely. I love you, Scorpio. You growing and showing, baby. You realize it's a time to be around people. You realize it's a time to separate. This person understand your Scorpioism. They understand when you Scorpioing, okay? The first energy you got out is family. I can't make this up. This man see a future with you. This And not only that, when a man see a future with you, he going to do what he need to do to catch you because he don't want nobody else to have you. This, this emperor know you they empress. Trust. I love it. Y'all trust these, each other to the point where y'all don't let nobody and nothing come in, in between y'all. Can't nobody come and tell you nothing about your spouse. Rebirth. Whoever this person is, look at all these butterflies. Whoever this person is, the butterflies on the trust card too. Whoever this person is, they trust where you leading them, Scorpio. Because it's not that you're leading them somewhere like, like you giving them play by play. But your life is leading them. Who you are is leading them. Your higher self is guiding them. I love it. Sexuality. No, sensuality. Yeah, this person lo this person just loves what type of person you are, how 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 you are, as far as like your 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 sensuality. How do you, how do you see things? How do you process things? This person loves that you're divine feminine. They love that you're creative, that you're beautiful, that you're abundant, that a lot of things can come as a result of you just being happy. And being protected. Does this person understand that I love this person? Healing. This person understands people need time. Solitude. Sometimes to heal. Sometimes people go through things in life. You know. And they have meltdowns in, in times where. You know this, hap this shit happened to you five years ago. And you never took the time to cry. Now you're in this relationship with this person. And this August 15th. When this person died or left your life. And it's like you can't stop crying. And you know, if you compare with a fool, they're going to be saying, they're going to be mad saying, you crying about your ex-husband. You know, they're going to be jealous and mad. This person right here said, sovereignty, I got you. Cry if you need to cry. Laugh if you need to laugh. I know you love me. I know me and you rocking together. So whatever this is, this grief you feeling, it's, it's from the past. And I'm here rocking with you with that too. 
Like, yeah, this some this somebody who this somebody who ain't come to play. They didn't come to play. They came to slay. They came to make sure this show first and last everything, Scorpio. You won't you won't be returning to no other exes or anything like that. This person ain't even that ain't even a a a, a throw. This person this person constantly thinks about how can they improve y'all connection. How can they make you feel safer? What can they do to make you feel more creative? Who am I talking to? See, that's that's what I love about real men. Not players. Players play. Real men do real shit. Real men know that they got to pay all their bills for them to be the boss. Pay the cost to be the boss. They got to pay the cost to be the boss. Real men know that's not, that doesn't mean control. Real men know that the more they make you feel protected and loved, the more you're willing to give. It's just how it goes. What's the moon knowledge you're talking about? It's just the way of the, the, the love language you guys have with each other. It's different. It's not like everybody else's. It's not tarnished. Y'all don't let nothing tarnish it. Y'all keep everything and everybody away from y'all's connection. That's a message for somebody. Keep people out your business, Scorpio. Keep people out. Some people got a learning curve. You don't need to talk about it. To some, You talking through with them. This gonna be that type of connection. Y'all really don't need other outside influences. Y'all ain't looking for outside influences. Y'all looking for other couples. If y'all must hang or mingle, y'all looking for people who are like yourself. They do truly love family. They don't cheat on their wife and husband. This is somebody I can trust my wife around or my husband around. You know, I I feel like if my wife or husband, I feel like they'll be safe. In other words. It says, confidence is key to success, new moon in Leo. Be confident, Scorpio, about your gifts and about what God blessed you with. And always, always be mindful to be a blessing to somebody else's life, Scorpio. A new start is coming, new moon. Don't let your past hold you back, South Node. All right, Scorpio, move forward. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. Mm -hmm. You and this person communicate. That's all y'all do. Y'all don't let nobody else in. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Y'all don't let nobody in. I can't make it up. Hold your vision. Fix moon. Hold your vision, Scorpio. I keep telling you, them boundaries that you made in your life, you made them for a reason. And don't let nobody make you feel like you did something wrong or like you, you know, you bougie. Your standard's too high. Oh, well, if they're too high for you, you ain't the person, baby. Because I'm, I'm guaranteeing you, somebody going to see these standards and they're going to match theirs. And they're going to step right up and they're going to be, they a new love going to step up. They're going to see you in their future. They're not going to play games. They want to seal the deal. They know you match. They fly y'all equally yo, and you get married. That's just that on that. It's not hard. It's not complicated. When shit don't jive, it just don't jive. We got to stop trying to make people see shit our way. It's people out there who already see it our way. The first, um, the overall energy is religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Absolutely. Energy is very important to Scorpio. That's, that's very much a big part of it. How you make Scorpio feel. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes your way. Mm -hmm. This happening quick. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Yeah, that's what you're doing for single Scorpios. Y'all just enjoying the single moment. That don't mean you want to be single, though. That don't mean you out here being reckless, dating anything and anybody. No, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring your romance. You just enjoying being being in solitude, being able to have this moment with yourself, to learn more about yourself, to do more with yourself before you go into this divine union with somebody else. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That's talking about the twin flame. It's over with. Go. You know, forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Absolutely. And that's what you're doing. That's why I said with this sovereignty, this person knows that the type of love they giving you, Scorpio, it's gonna make you cry. It's gonna make you. It's gonna make you emotional 
But what this person is saying, when you're emotional, you're vulnerable, and I'm still there standing in the gap for you. I'm there for you. This person is there for you, Scorpio. They're not there for nothing else. They're not there for your money, your looks. They there, they there because they know you you're gonna spend they're gonna spend the rest of their life loving you on purpose. This person wants you to know that they that's the biggest part of their life. This person is all about family. This person wants you to know how much they appreciate you in their life. Make no mistake, this person don't want you to ever go anywhere else and get that kind of shit from nobody else but them. This is a real man. This is a real woman. They understand. They done been through enough to know what real is. And we can't go back to fate. We're just not going to do it. It's unrequited. That's what it is. It's done. Bitch or dead. <laughs> Number five, yacht, adventure, affluence, luxury, mobility, travel, great ease, smooth sailing. Yeah, you're moving on, Scorpio. You're moving on to the yacht. You're moving on to the finer things and finer people in life. People who want something out of life. People who actually see a future with you. People's lives who reflect that they see a future with you. Not them just saying it, saying it out their out they mouth. Sideways. What else here for Scorpio? Whoa. Another number five. You could be seeing five, 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 Scorpio. It says thunderstorm, power, destruction, trouble, electric display, a warning, out of control, an energy shift. Yeah. This is you. You're the thunderstorm. You're transitioning, Scorpio. You're moving away from this, this, this craziness to calmness. Number eight. Blinders, victim mentality, confusion, tunnel vision, resist clarity. Yeah, this your ex. You're done with all of this type of energy. You're moving to the yacht. All this other stuff is what you don't want in your life. Number seven, eyeglasses, assessment, evaluate options. What I just say? Judgment. You're examining shit. You're seeing stuff quick, um, clearly. And you're reading the fine print. You're getting a closer look. You know, you focus on awareness, Scorpio. You're checking all the details with everybody. And this person just keep coming up on the good side. Because they are the good side. They who they say they are. Number six, bodybuilder, power. What I say? This somebody who, what I say? They, they want to get up under you and make sure you're protected. They want to make sure that you're taken care of so that you can create. They're determined. They're disciplined. They push forward. Okay, this is somebody who's all about mastery and resolve. What else? One more message here, and I'm going to let you go, Scorpio. Number six, happening soon. This situation or event in question will develop or unfold very soon. On the bottom of the deck, you have the rings. It says contracts, agreements, and bonds. Scorpio, you're getting married. I love you guys. See you in the next video.